Plenty of sunshine for our Saturday, but could those fall-like conditions soon be headed our way? We turn now to KQ2's meteorologist Elizabeth McGiffin for a first look at the weather. Elizabeth. Hopefully you had a chance to go out and enjoy some of those sunshine and nice temperatures out there. It is indeed feeling a bit like fall. Taking a look now off to the west, we have some clouds out there. Those clouds are going to continue to build, but taking a look at that satellite and radar, we can see that those are just kicking off some showers which are pushing their way down and out of Cape Girardeau. Tomorrow though, we can see a cold front starting to work its way pushing down out of the north, but not feeling the effects of that quite yet. Tomorrow's going to be another mild day for us into some mid to upper 70s. Sophia, back to you at the news. Weather, is it good? Is it bad? Is we it ugly? Nice, we have a nice change of pace with that after mm -hmm. some not so pleasant news. Hopefully you had a chance to go out and enjoy the Southside Festival. If you're going to be headed out tomorrow as well, we have another pleasant day. More on that though coming up later. First, here's a look at your almanac. Welcome back. We're going to start you off with a look at that almanac. Normally this time of the year, sitting at 80 degrees for that high, waking up to 54 for that low. Of course, staying dry, precip for the day, as we did have a couple clouds, though. Now those clouds kept us below average on both that high and low temperature. 77 degrees is where we topped out this afternoon and woke up to 44 degrees. Right now outside, though, we can see clouds continuing to build off to the west. Temperature sitting at 67 degrees. Humidity pretty mild, 65%. Barometer shows pressure is on the rise, though, so that's supporting part of that clear sky out there. Winds overnight, or right now rather, at the east southeast, only at six miles per hour. Temperatures throughout the state ranging from some upper 50s to mid 60s. Kirksville, one of the chillier spots on the map, though, 51 degrees out there. Taking a look at that surface or satellite and radar, we can see the remnants of that cold front. Still some spotty showers down in Cape Girardeau. A little closer to home, though, up in northwest Missouri, just kicking up a few areas of cloud cover from those showers, staying dry, of course, throughout the end of your weekend. Now, as we work our way into the next work week, we're going to shift our focus up to the north. This long blue line and incoming cold front is going to continue to push its way on through Iowa throughout Sunday and Monday. And then for Monday, bring along a chance of showers right behind that. Now on into tomorrow, that cold front, as we mentioned, gradually approaching, not feeling the effects of that though until the start of the work week. So tomorrow though, mild temperatures right in between those mid 70s to upper 80s for us out there. Now here is a look once again at the early start of next week. We're going to continue to see a dip in the cold front bringing in some chilly temperatures and as I mentioned, a chance for a few showers as we start off the work week. Overnight though, 54 degrees for that low patchy Areas of clouds continuing to build and bringing along with it a chance for some fog out there. Winds out of the south 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then on into tomorrow, we're going to see those clouds just continue to build, but still not too bad of a day for us. 78 degrees for that high, so right on par with normal. Fog into the early morning hours. Winds, though, staying out of the south, so pumping in some of that gulf moisture for us. Now that cold front's really going to start dipping into the area for Monday, bringing along with it a chance for some showers and maybe even a few spotty thunderstorms. That's going to make, though, for quite the pleasant work week out there. Temperatures into some upper 60s as we start off the work week. 69 degrees for Monday, 67 for your high temperature on Tuesday, but then a bit more of sunshine out there for Wednesday and as we wrap up next work week into some mid 70s. So yeah. really starting to feel like fall out there. Yeah, you know, I, I start the day off with layers and then by noon, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm having to take some of those off. It's, it's rough out there to a good point. Very make the nice transition. Time to yeah. Layer that up. <laughs> Definitely. And we were there. Well, I wasn't there, but other people were there. That's true. Justin and I had a <laughs> chance to okay. walk in the parade yeah. this morning. So did you throw the gum at all the people who wanted gum? Is that what happened today? Because we had double bubble. Double they bubble. They were all about the gum. <laughs> It we was a little intense. It was a little intense, but we were happy to do it. So how do you aim? How, do, how does, you know, what's your technique on making sure everybody uh, gets this here? <laughs> it's, it's always hard because you want to pass it all off at the beginning, but I feel like we did a good job There's of saving no, some for yeah, the kids at the end. You got to regulate. There's never enough. Okay, did you guys hear your names get called out? Because that happened for a couple of our, uh, <laughs> our anchor people staffers here. But are we still have good weather coming up. We do. It's going to be another day pretty similar 
Two today coming in for tomorrow, 78 degrees for that high, so not a bad idea to go out and check out Southside Fall Festival as it continues on into tomorrow. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy your Sunday.